Hello friends, today I am going to show you how to install Catalo 3.10 on CentOS. Before starting the installation of Catalo, let me give you the brief of Catalo. Catalo is an open source lifecycle management plugin for Foreman. It handles subscription and repository management. Catalo is an external Catalo connects to the external repository for the content that is update and download it. You can apply them that is update to the subscribe system. You can also say that Catalo is an alternative for Red Hat Satellite and Space for Catalo also allows you to perform tasks such as machine provisioning, configuration management using Foreman. Component of Catalo The inner component of Catalo Candle pin, pulp and smart proxy. Candle pin is used to handle subscription manager. Pulp is used to handle repository and contain management. Smart proxy, it acts as a proxy for of the services like TNS, DCP, Puppet Master, Configuration. Outer component is Foreman. Foreman is an open source application that allows you to provision physical and virtual machine automatically using Kickstart and Puppet module. Hardware requirement minimum 2 GB, minimum 2 CPU required, minimum 8 GB of RAM is required, Twen minimum 20 GB of file system is required. It supports only RC7 and CentOS 7. For where lib pulp, it, uh, it is used to hold the repository, hence, more than 30 GB space is required. Catalog can only run on x86-64 operating system. Required port and protocols. It required DNS 53, 67, 68 for DSCP, 69 for TF TFTP server, 80 and 443 for HTTP and HTTPS 3000 for HTTP access for Foreman for man web UI 3306 it is for MySQL database 5910 and 5930 this is for VNC console 5432 it is for separate Postgres database 8140 it's puppet master 8443 it is smart proxy only used for four men these are the repositories that are required for installation of catalog without it it won't work and this is the installation process now I after this I will show you how to install the repository, how to install the repository and how to install Catalog. Let's start the process of installation of Catalog. First we are going to install the Catalog repo. Second, we are going to install the foreman release. After that, we are going to install Puppet Lab. These are all the repos which will be used for installing the catalog. Now we are going to install the EPEL repo. Now again we are going to install the poor man release and python repo.
uh, you can see it is four month release with SCLI so this is a different repo and the previously which we have installed that is a different repo Now we are going to install the catalog. We have installed all the repos. Now we are going to install the catalog packages. Uh, this is very big package, so it will take a lot of time. as you can see there are 490 packages so it is going to take more than 5 to 10 minutes uh, since I am downloading all the packages from the internet uh, it has uh, it will take more time uh, but in my case you can see that it is completed because I have paused the video and restarted it again now we are going to do using foreman install command we are going to install the catalog scenario hyphen hyphen l will help us to know what are the different uh, plugins means in scenario what what are the different things that we can add it will help it will provide us that like puppet cmd these are all the plugins but we are going to just install catalog and I will show you later how to install and get the plugins also This process also takes a lot of time but uh, since I have paused the video and restarted it again resumed it again so I have sh skipped that part uh, now you can see that the poor man the catalog installation has been successfully uh, this was the URL using this thing you can uh, log into the catalog portal this is the password and password this is the password and this is the user ensure that you keep the user and password properly so this will be required for you for login or else you have to reset the password again you even you can see that's a db installed it is mango db so that is also completed successfully uh, 
when you open on internet explorer you will see something like this so this is the login screen of foreman and here your foreman installation is completed